welcome back to my youtube channel today i thought i would do a little spring collective haul um stuff that i've gotten like the last couple of months but yeah i hope you guys enjoy this and let's just get into the video so i'll start with yeah i'll start with the swimsuits so i got this from boohoo the swimsuit from boohoo um i'm not gonna do a try on haul but if i have um pictures of me wearing them that I will show you. So I originally saw a girl that I follow. Her name is Rachel Ratke. I don't know how to say her last name, but she got the swimsuit from Pretty Little Things. And, and I was like, oh my gosh, that is so cute. And I really need some new swimsuits. So I was like, I'm gonna get some, but for worked best for me is I got the top actually from Pretty Little Thing and then I got the bottoms from Boohoo which was for me a lot cheaper um but yeah so the bottom actually came as a set which is fine so this is the color and it's high-waisted um it looks tiny but it actually stretches pretty far and I think in the bottoms, I got a US 8, and then for the top, I got a US 8 too. So, I think this one I got the same thing. Yeah, so US 8. So, for the top, it looks like this. It looks tiny, but trust me, it stretches really far, and it actually covers. Um, if you like swimsuits that have padding on it, this probably won't be the best for you because it doesn't have padding at all but yeah it is super cute and has this little detail v cut detail in the front and then the bottoms or i guess i can show you the other top so for the boohoo set and they're actually the same color uh but for the boohoo top ooh, i can get it this what it looks like and it just a little tie knot in the front the padding or the boob area is actually double lined and you can actually um never mind but it is double lined so there's that and then the bottoms yeah i think i already showed you that but the bottoms look like this and i'm pretty sure it's like a cheeky but it doesn't like full on show your butt so if you like that then i would definitely recommend that and then I also got a black pair from Boohoo. Uh, but yeah, and this is also a size eight and it's super cute. I don't have a pair of black bottoms. Um, so I thought this would be really good for my collection. And then they're the crinkly um, style. So this is the crinkly high-waisted brief, which is the same thing as this one. And this one from Boohoo is the crinkle tie front high-waisted bikini and this is same wrinkly wrinkle of the description on it and then for the other swimsuit that I got I actually got this one from Target I tried it on and it looked super flattering and it was really cute uh, so this is what it looks like it's a one piece but it has like a keyhole in the front and then it has an open back pretty much but it is just these red flowers let's see if you can see it yeah, they look like little strawberries, but it's super cute and they have a little tie in the front and this fits amazing on me and it is a full coverage bottom, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, I don't have the um, little um, thing that goes on it, like the, t oh, the tag, that's what it is, <laughs> but I got this in a size, I was going to get in a size large but they didn't have it, so I got the size medium. Still fits, it's a little, I mean, it still fits pretty good, it's just a little tight. And the sleeves are like that, so it's not like a thin strap. I don't know, it's just super cute and I love it. Uh, for the other one that I got from Target, this is actually, I just got the top, a red bottom for it. But this is what the top looks like. I also got this from Target, and this is a size large, but this fits so good, and it looks like that. It has a little ruffle on the bottom, and you can like 
split it in the middle if you want to show a little bit more coverage. Um, yeah, that is super cute. It has some really good bikinis and one pieces if you just look. Um, I think the next thing I want to do is denim. I have some denim shorts that I am obsessed with and I got them on sale. Two pairs from Abercrombie Fitch, one from American Eagle, and then one from Beachy yes. with them. But you guys will see. So the first two pair are from American or from American Eagle from Abercrombie Fitch. These what this is what they look like. They are actually a I think they're mom fit. They're the high rise four. I think inseam short. I don't know. But these are the, I want to say boyfriend fit, but these are a lot longer too because for me, I, I'm really into the longer shorts and not like the booty showing kind. But yeah, if you want some that are like this, Abercrombie Fitch have really good ones and they're super, they're actually stretchy because they have some stretch to it. And they also have a little slit on the side, which give you some more room. But this is a lighter wash. I don't think I'm holding it up that close. And then for this second one that I got is, um, oh, and this one is in a size 28 or 6 at Abercrombie Fitch. This one, I, yeah, I want upper size in this one because this is long longer short that covers the butt and they flare out at the end that makes your butt look or shape your butt really well which I really like it has some distressing and I love distressing on my jeans this is a 29 or 29 in Abercrombie Fitch or also an 8 super cute this doesn't this one doesn't have the slit on the side but this also has amazing stretch to it um the second one i can get back up back up back up back up the second one is from american eagle instead of a zipper it buttons in all the way down aka a butterfly zipper um, but yeah, this is what this one looks like. This is also a longer fit. I got this one in a size... Let's see if I can find it. I got this one in a size US 8. Um, just because I thought it wasn't going to have that much stretch to it. And I mean, it doesn't really. But I also could have gone down to my true size, which is a 6 in American Eagle. Because these are a little loose, but that's fine. But that's what they look like. Um, it is a longer version too, also. But I think these are just super cute and flattering. And they are a boyfriend fit, so they are going to be a little loose. Um, but yeah, I really like this pair too, even though it's a little big on me. But that's okay. The other one, I'm not that big of a fan of. But this is, um, I got this from Vici. I thought it was going to be a little longer. But it's not. It's, it's cute. But it doesn't really fit me that well. It is um, from Can Can, which I'm obsessed with Can Can jeans. If you've never tried any, you should. Their jeggings are amazing. Um, but yeah, I got this in a size medium, which is, uh, I think, maybe, but yeah, this doesn't have any stretch. It's like a, yeah, it has no stretch to it, which is probably why it doesn't really fit me. But, I mean, they're super cute. It also has, I mean, it has a zipper and a little button-up fly. Just a little one. But, yeah, it's also high-rise. All my jeans are high-rise or high-rise shorts because I don't like low-cut or medium or, like, medium high-rise. I don't know if that makes any sense, but you get the idea. The next thing I am going to show you is this little skirt. I believe I got this off Princess Polly. Um, I saw a girl on Instagram wearing a white t-shirt with a cheetah skirt like this with a slit like this one and white sneakers and like a denim jacket and I thought that was super cute and I wanted to try that 
little trend even though it's been out for a while. I am engaged so I wanted to get this like a satin or silky like blouse like this um, in white but I couldn't really find any but I found this like um, champagne one which is totally fine that I could still wear for like um, a wedding or for like a, um, a bridal shower and with some with some skinny jeans and like white tennis shoes or something would look super cute buttoned down a little so I can pull it off so I can pull it off my shoulder like this and like just some gold jewelry I think that is a super cute statement especially for the spring so that's what I got this for this for and this is a size I think I went up a size just so it could go off my shoulder a little yeah I got this in a size US 12 yeah this is super cute I can't wait to wear that you get the gist uh oh I forgot also for Beachy, I also got this sweater. Um, it is super cute. I did get it oversized. Here, I can get up so you guys can see it. I did get it oversized so I could wear it off my shoulder because I'm really into that trend right now. And then I just paired it with a um, lookalike uh, Free People bralette. But yeah, some gold jewelry. I just have these basic shorts on. But yeah. That is, yeah, that's like my favorite trend right now is off the shoulder, sweatshirt, or not sweatshirts, um, sweaters, just like lightweight stuff that I could wear, blouses, yeah, all that good stuff. The next thing that I got are these little tank tops. I also got a black one. These are from Target. Um, I did get the white one in my size, which is a medium, just because I wanted a little tighter. But I got this in white, and I also got it in black, and then this coral color. Um, this one I got in a large, and the black one I think I got in a large, just so it could be a little loose around my stomach and not tight. Because so like if I sit down or something, it doesn't rise up. And you could yeah, you could pair those with denim, um, slacks, anything, denim shorts, tennis shoes, cardigan over. It's really cute, I think. I think I'm gonna do shoes last, just cause I have like... So the next thing I wanna show you is this tie-dye sweatshirt. Tie-dye is super in right now and I'm loving it. Um, I wasn't a big fan of it when I was younger, but now that it's starting to be a thing, I'm obsessed and a lot of, and I have another tie-dye thing I'm gonna show you, but a lot of stuff I wanna get is tie-dye pretty much, but I can't do that because then I don't want to be that person who buys tie-dye all the time. I do want to tie-dye some sweats because I don't want to have to buy some, but I think it'd be a lot cheaper to make anyway. A lot cheaper to make anyways. So yeah, I got this. Um, I got it in a large, and I actually got it from a girl named Marissa on Instagram. I them, and I thought the super pink color would be super amazing because <laughs> I don't know I just really like I don't have anything pink like that uh, but the next kind of thing is actually this um, this is from Rosie Days um, and she has a little boutique um, that she came out with I think two years ago 2017 and she came out with this tie-dye uh, sweatshirt crew neck and I was so excited because I wanted to get it, obviously. And um, I ended up getting it and it is comfortable. I got it in a size medium, uh, just so it could be a little bit fitted so I could wear a denim, a denim jacket with it. with And then some leggings and black sneakers or even white sneakers. Just depends on how you want to would style it. But it is super cute. She has really cute things. Um, on her boutique on her website and you should also follow her because she is one of my favorite youtubers thing i have are from urban outfitters so this is a sweatshirt that i got off urban outfitters um when you get it though you are gonna have to wash it because it does stain or the um, color does rub off onto anything that's like white because it did on one of my sweatpants 
so yeah i would highly recommend you washing it before you wear it but i got this in a size uh small medium i should have gotten it i mean it fits oversized for me but i want it to be a little bit more oversized so i should have got like the i think the medium large but i mean it's super cute i love it i love the red tie-dye also i don't have anything red tie-dye so <laughs> i thought of it the next thing that i got is a graphic t-shirt i think it's the same thing same thing no is it is it no it's not um but it's a graphic t-shirt oh backwards it is one size also from urban outfitters and it has some distressing on it some holes which i'm really into right now and i don't know i just really love pretty much wear it with anything it is super cute you can wear it dressed down for sure and then I mean, you could dress it up, I guess, but I like loungewear, comfy clothes all the time. I do wear jeans sometimes, but you know, I just love to be comfortable. So this is a great staple to have in your wardrobe. I've been looking for a denim jacket on Etsy that could be like handmade with um, like my last name and stuff on it. But some of them were like 50 range from a 50 to like almost $200 and I was like I'm not doing that so I went ahead and made my own and if I could find um where these patches are from on Etsy's description yeah. box but yeah this is super cute I'm super happy on how it turned out the denim jacket I did get from forever 21 in a size large so I could wear it oversized it is super cute. I'll show you the front. This is what the front looks like. I put extra the extra stars that I had left over on the front. I'm gonna have to go back over the iron to patch them back. Some of the ones that are coming off back. But that's what the front looks like. It has some distressing. The back though, oh it is, mm, I'm so obsessed with it on how it turned out. But my last name is gonna be turned to Miss Knox. That's what it looks like. It's jeweled and I put all the stars on the back of it. I put all the stars where I wanted and it is like, seriously, I am obsessed. I didn't think I could pull it off, but I'm just really into DIYs right now. And I think the next thing I want to do is patch on like little stars or like lightning bolts onto like graphic t-shirts like this. Yeah, if you guys want me to show you a video on how I do DIYs with this kind of stuff like that, just let me know and I will because literally obsessed. And then so there's that. I haven't been able to wear it yet because we are we are in quarantine and I can't really do much. But I do want to take pictures in it outside of my backyard. And then but for the jewels, I did hand sew them too. I did iron them down and then I hand sewed them. Um, so yeah, I mean, this is super easy. It took me about three hours to do, um, three hours nonstop. So glad I stuck with it and got it done. Um, okay, so for the last thing of my video, I am going to show you the shoes that I got. So I'm going to start with these beachy shoes. I do have another pair that are coming in, but um, they should be here sometime this week. And if I get them, I'll add them into the video. I don't have anything like this. Um, they are, what, alligator prints? Yeah, alligator, snake print? I don't know. I forgot what this print was, but it just looks like this. It's cute little booties. Um, also with that satin t-shirt that I showed you from Princess Polly, I could also match up with or pair them with these shoes with like jeans and stuff. Oh, I cannot wait to wear these. Um, they are a size 8. Um, they're from me, M-I-I-M. But th I got these off Beachy. Super cute. I got are from Target. Um, are these little platforms. I don't have anything like this, but when I saw them at Target, I was like, I've got to get these. And they're a little mustard colored. These are the Universal Thread. But yeah, 
I really love platform. A lot of my shoes are platform or like thicker um, shoes, which some people like them, some people don't, but I really love them. The next shoes that I got are a little dirty because I wore them when we were in Colorado. So they're just a little dirty. Uh, Rosy Days too, and these are a size, these are size seven and a half. They are from the Soda um, line, so if you don't see them on hers, because it might be sold out, you could also probably just look up soda.com or whatever and find them that one that I got are Vans. They are just the plain black ones. They are the platform ones. And I've wanted these for a while, a size six, and these fit perfectly. I can't wait to wear these, obsessed. I can wear these with the graphic t-shirts that I have or like my leggings and hoodies. I don't know. End of my video, I hope you guys liked it. Um, if you want to see more of this kind of stuff, just leave a thumbs up. Comment in the description below to let me know what you guys want to see next. Um, subscribe to my videos. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys really liked it and I'll see you next time. Bye.